it happens naturally and um, a lot of the time you would find trades going on. Now the challenge is bringing it into a formal market where you're documenting and um, creating some transparency around all the trades that are going on. Um, it entails a lot of organization, it entails a lot of um, research, identifying the securities that are being traded, identifying the traders, in fact accrediting um, all the dealers and everyone who's involved in the industry. And so there's um, that whole network and that whole infrastructure that we're trying to build. Now you did say you had funding issues. What was the reason for this? Uh, is it as a result of a lack of interest uh, from investors in the OTC market? NASD is totally funded by um, securities dealers essentially and um, we would like to, the first concept of the company was to have securities dealers be the first and primary owners of the market because they have an understanding of what we're trying to build. Um, we think if you left it open to individuals and to manufacturing companies, there's a lot more profit pressure um, from them um, and they might not understand the necessity for the, ne the need for a gestation period. We understand and we know that um, stockbrokers and financial institutions do understand the gestation and the timing that goes with developing this kind of market and so we opened it to them first. Now the um, financial industry like um, other parts of the world, the financial industry in Nigeria has gone through a certain amount of difficulty and so when we opened the issue, um, we opened a private placement last year and although we had a massive amount of support um, uh, non-financial support, the financial support took a bit of time before it came in because um, the players in the industry obviously um, had to source the funds first before they could invest. Um, I must say though that we were eventually oversubscribed and we are 105 percent oversubscribed now um, and so we're set to run. And so it's only after we raise the funds that we required that we then have the confidence, and it's only when you have the funds really, that you then go out and start looking for um, a vendor. Um, it might be wrong for you to go out and start talking to vendors and then not have the funds to support um, what the vendors are offering. What sort of assets should we expect uh, to see you trading once you do open? Will it be an all-asset trading platform? Uh, will, it, will it be corporate, uh, national or sub-national bonds? Give us a picture. What we're aiming to achieve is a multi-asset platform. Um, it will trade virtually every single security once you can identify it, once you can standardize it, once you can assess the risk and the return on it, then it should be tradable on this market. Um, it will be a phased rollout. We will start with equities and bonds um, and, I, and that's because there are already a lot of them being traded in the market that are traded OTC right now and so those are the first capture. Um, commercial paper, obviously, we'll be trading those as well as soon as we open. As time goes on, we'll start doing the swaps and then the options and then even some more derivatives. Can you tell me why is there a need for an organized OTC market here in Nigeria? It's obvious to all players in the market that there is a lot of trade going on, especially on the large corporates and in some of the uh, bonds. There's a lot of trade that goes on in these securities that is not being captured either by any of the regulatory authorities um, and is not even, can't be verified by the registrars. And so in order to capture all those and to create a record and some kind of track, um, that's one reason why uh, we have now been set up um, so that all trades will go through at least a recognized, a SEC authorized trade point. So we'll, we are one SEC authorized trade point, the stock exchange is another SEC authorized trade point. There may be others that may come up in due course. Um, but this, we are now putting the market in a position where you have the ability to trade securities, even if they're not listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange, you have the opportunity to trade them through a trade point that is recognized by the Securities and Exchange Commission. What that does is it then creates a certain level of transparency. Because right now, in the opaque market that it is, um, sometimes you will get, um, there isn't enough knowledge or not enough exchange of, of um, numbers and research and information between the seller and the buyer. Therefore, you will find out that the main beneficiary of, of trades is going to be the, margin, the, the, the person in the middle. Mm -hmm. 
But by the time you create enough information and more, enough information is available, you'll find that that margin then vanishes. And what we're trying to achieve is to narrow the margin between buy and sell such that each gets um, the fair price for the securities that are being traded.